Look at that janky tape job. Hey everyone, so this is my 12 GPU CMP 100-210 V100 BIOS in a version 1 Octominer X12 chassis. I have changed the fans around. We are now blowing air or sucking air through instead of the traditional way. Mount outside, flipped on over, grates on the front so I don't take my fingers off. And I got a little bit of tape in between the two heat sinks. You'll see that in a second when I pull this bar out and start pulling them off. Now also, since we are sucking in air through the back, there's always a gap at the back of these GPUs. And just to close up for the time being, I threw some captain tape on it. It works, it's not the best, but it, it works. You can really see if I come in here a little bit. Yeah. So, I got a box here from Legendary Crypto. He is selling 3D printed things that go right on here instead that will work a lot better. I probably won't see any real reduction in temperature because this is already fairly well sealed with the tape. It's just, this is gonna be a much better build quality. So, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Wow, Legendary Crypto sent me confetti. Ooh, Legendary Crypto. Thank you for your support. He has an eBay, Etsy store, and his YouTube. Um, you can see if you can try to scan that from the video or not. We'll see. But uh, I will leave links to all three of them down in the video description below. He also has attached the screws I'm going to need for this. Yeah, there isn't that much to them. Let me get the tape off. Hey, get off me. Okay, so this slots in where the captain tape is already set. So let me pull out these 12 GPUs and show you exactly how this works. Okay, so here's one. Took off the captain tape. Now there are two screw holes that we're using. One is right here on the bottom. If we flip over. We're using this top one, this first one right there. So he's got a little 3D print that slides right on in. It's tucked underneath the IO shield, pushed on down, and then you'll put one screw on each side and it just presses on the 3D print so it doesn't slide out. And that's all you really need because it's sealing, if I pull this back out, on this foam right here. So let me screw in those two. Not bad, it's not going anywhere. And it's as simple as that. Let me do the other 11 and reassemble. Okay, all back together. And they look so much better. They probably flow a little bit better. I don't think I'm gonna see that much of a temperature reduction using these. It's just a lot better peace of mind actually having a good piece of plastic in there holding it together. Got the bar back in. If you didn't notice at the beginning of the video, I also have changed out the cables to uh, deep in the mines cables, this was like a hundred dollar set. Um, sorry, Crootman, you literally released your cables a week after I bought this set. But anyone who gets them, they're great. They definitely clean it up, make it a lot better for flowing for air, and you don't have that freaking rat's nest. Just anyone who does get cables, whether they be deep in the mines, veteran miner, whoever, remember, you still can't do kapow on these cards in this rig. This rig is not made for it. It doesn't have enough power. Reason being, remember, these are EPS 12 volt connectors, maximum of 288 watts, but you're still connecting to a backplane with six pin PCIe that's only rated for 150 watts. So watch your wattages with this. You still don't want to burn it up, even though these are upgraded from 18 gauge to 16 gauge cables. The weak point is not here. It's not the cables. It's here. 
that's the weak point. So you got to be careful on your wattages. Don't run Kapow. Run anything else pretty much, but no Kapow, Prog Pow. Yeah, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Again, information will be down in the video description. I'll see you next time.